Today we're going to work on hollowing out the tabletop. I'm going to drag this a little bit closer. You can see what we're doing. What I want to do while this is selected is I want to create a duplicate. So I'm going to hit Control B and I'm going to resize this duplicate. So in order to help you see what we're doing, I'm going to just arbitrarily change this to a contrasting color. I'm now going to change this to a 64 by 64. And now that I've done that, I need to align them. So I'm going to go ahead and select both parts. We'll go ahead and align according to length and width. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and click off here because I don't want both parts selected. What I'm going to end up doing is clicking on this inner piece and I'm going to pull it up just enough so that I've got some nice thickness on this bottom part of my tabletop. So I'm going to pull this up. And if I pull it up this high, what this means is, is my green tabletop will be that thick. If I want it thinner, I can pull it up higher. So it's your personal choice where you would like that. You can see the numbers over here adjusting to four units above the work surface. All right, so I'm going to take this down a little bit. All right, so for me, I'm going to leave it at two units. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn that into a whole tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and group this. And now you can see we have a nicely hollowed out table. All right, next part we want it to do is to put the bracing on. Go ahead and grab a work plane. Put it onto the inside of your table. Click the brace and hit D to put it on the work plane. And if you want, you can use your arrow keys to move this over or you can drag it over, but don't change the dimensions. Just roughly put it in center. Now go ahead and select all parts, and we want to go ahead and align this according to length and width. And then go ahead and click off, because we don't want to be moving all parts of this table right now. All right, click on this, this brace. Hit Control D. And we're going to go ahead and swing this off by 90 degrees. And so in this particular example, I'm getting negative numbers. So I'm going to click and type negative 90. And then we'll click off. All right, so there you have your table. And you can see the brace is right on top. All right, now I'll go ahead, group all parts. Next piece we want to put on is this little cylinder. Before I move the cylinder, we're going to go ahead and get a work plane. And we're going to put it right on top of that that little brace. Go over here to your little cylinder, hit the D key to put it on the work plane, and bring it over closer. I'm just going to use some of these arrow keys. And bring it in much closer. All right, now we're going to go ahead and align that. Length, width. All right, that looks good. Um, make sure again that everything is selected, and then let's group that. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that back to a red table. All right, the next thing we want to do is put a hole through this center cylinder, but we don't want it to go all the way through. So I'm going to click this little hole tool back here. I'm going to hit the D key to put it on the work plane. And I'm going to grab it carefully in the center. I don't want to distort any of those measurements. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and align that. Length and width. All right, so now let's go a little closer so you can see what we're doing. Go ahead and hold the right side of my mouse to tilt this. All right, click off. And if it doesn't let go, you can always click on another piece. Click that hole tool and drop this down. Okay, you're getting sassy. I'll try that again and drop that down. You see, I want to drop this down so that there isn't a hole in the other end. So take it down a little bit more. And if you kind of tilt, you, you can see here, this is how thick that piece is going to be. This is how much material I'm leaving behind. Right? And as you look at my picture, you're seeing the number 20. Um, and it's arbitrary. You know, you may, maybe you're going to see something different. But that's going to work for me. So to leave that hole behind, I'm going to go ahead and group. 
Okay, and now you'll see when I tilt this, there's that hole. That's where I want to put the umbrella stand. And that hole should give me enough depth so that when I go to super glue the umbrella stand in here, it should be able to support it. All right, so now that you've done that, meet me in the next video, and we'll start working on the legs of the table.